you guys. So I just wanted to make a video today about what really goes on in our life and not just the highlight reel because I don't feel like that's the truth and I want to show you guys what really happens. I made myself a promise when we started this homestead journey that I was going to be transparent and vulnerable with you guys and not just show you all the good things that happen because everybody does that. It's so easy to just post on Facebook or Instagram the good moments. Nobody wants to see the bad. Nobody wants to see the failures. Nobody wants to show the failures. Who wants to show that they messed up or made a mistake? Nobody wants to show that, but I do. I'm going to. I'm going to show you guys one of the hugest, biggest failures that we've encountered on this homestead journey. Let's go. Here's our biggest issue, our biggest step and hurdle that we've had to go through. Not even overcome yet. We still haven't overcome this. I don't know when or if we ever will. But this water problem that we've been facing has been absolutely the hardest thing I've ever dealt with in my life. I'm not even exaggerating. The amount of water that we have on this property is just unbelievable. We have a river that flows through our entire yard every single time that it rains and during the spring melt and it's just copious amounts of water. For example, here is my portable pig pen that I had built two days ago that was completely dry and after 30 hours of rain, probably around four inches if not more of rain, here it is now. There is water flowing through it and down this trail. There's my pigs in one of the only dry areas in their pen in some nice warm straw. They're fine. They have to come out here to get water and food. but it's just, it's challenging. Because if I want to move their pen now, where am I going to put it? I have very, very limited space where it's not wet. And I can't put them in the bush because I have a solar fencer that will not work if it's not in sunlight. But that being said, it's not working right now because the fence over here is in the water. Luckily my pigs are quite well trained to the fence and haven't gotten out yet. But I will have to move them later on because this simply won't work. Pigs like to test the fence. But yeah, there's one issue. Another issue is our chicken tractor. That thing is darn heavy. And when you try to move it in very saturated ground with our quad, another person in there while it's moving to keep pushing the chickens up so that they don't get squished underneath. We have lost a lot of birds to that problem, let alone the water that gets in there. It's cold and wet and disgusting, and if you don't move them soon enough, they will die. And if you move them and you're not careful, you'll squish them to death. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. The water before we got the driveway done would make it nearly impossible for us to haul water to our own house because we'd get stuck in the mud. We did luckily manage to get the driveway completed before it rained again. We somehow struck some luck and had two weeks of decent weather where it dried up enough that we could actually build up our driveway and put gravel down. So now at least that's one problem that we don't have. But it seems like we have 50 more pop up just when we get something solved. Yeah. This farming thing has been extremely hard. And I think made a hundred times harder 
with the water. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys like all the good stuff that you see on Facebook and Instagram, it doesn't come without a lot of hardship. There's a lot of tough things that go on in the background that people don't realize. You know, like just for you to get pork on your plate from a small farmer or chicken is just so much work. So much work and labor and hardship and heartache and all that. There's a lot more to it than just seeing this cute little pig and then you have a pork chop on your plate. It's just, it's not the case. And the thing is, is that the farmer never reaps the benefit of their hard work, you know? The farmer never gets paid for their time. They don't. It's the truth. That's the truth of farming. All your hard work and time you put into this, you don't get paid for that. You get paid for the costs that go into raising the animal. If you're lucky, you might break even. But to make a profit in farming is the most challenging thing that there probably is. It's very hard. And I wanted to just show you guys that, you know, you have to get very creative, very imaginative, be extremely determined and committed to this to make any sort of money at it. It's so hard. And people don't realize that. At least in my, my eyes, I've never met someone that truly realizes the extent to which it takes to raise animals. Unless you're a farmer yourself. But, yeah. So, if you're thinking of getting into the homesteading journey, I encourage you. Don't get me wrong. This has been my dream for years, and I'm super thrilled to be living it. But it is not without failure. It is not without hardships. It's not without difficulties. There are positives in every day. You have to look for them very hard sometimes, but they exist. And I just wanted to show you guys just a little tidbit of the hard things that we go through because it's the truth. It doesn't even scratch the surface, but hopefully you have a little bit of an idea of what we go through on a daily basis. Thanks for tuning in. Pray for sunshine.